Hallelujah. Glory be to God. What a day the Lord has made. And we are to rejoice and be glad in it. I'd like you to invite someone to join us right now. I'm going to be dealing with how to unlock your greatness. That's right. How to unlock your greatness. Welcome to this new this new week as we deal with this, uh, I believe, an important subject that would enlighten you, empower you. God's word empowers us. There was something I said yesterday that the your consciousness or your awareness or what you the revelation that you receive from the word of God every revelation that you receive from God's word there is an enablement that is released by the grace of God to bring about the realization or the manifestation of that revelation that you receive and that you believe so the revelation you receive from God's Word empowers you it produces the grace and empowers you and that empowerment makes you to become what that revelation is I'll say it again the revelation the awareness the consciousness that you receive from the Word of God in the realm of the Spirit and in the economy of God there is a release of grace based on your awareness and consciousness and revelation of the belief that you receive. There's, there's a release of grace that brings about the manifestation of that awareness or consciousness in your life. That means that you receive a revelation, you have the consciousness of the Word of God, that bliss, it leads to an empowerment that would bring about you becoming. So I read John chapter 1 verse 12. He said that all those to them that received him, to them that received Christ, to them that received the revelation, to them that received him and believed on him, right he gave power he gave the enablement he gave the empowerment he gave the ability to become the sons of god so you have to receive that revelation believe that revelation and it brings about an empowerment all right and that empowerment see to it that you become what you received all right you become what you have received. To them that received him. To them that received him. Received Christ. Received the revelation. Received the awareness. He gave power. The empowerment. To become the son of God. To become the sons of God. To become what you have received. To become the awareness that you have in your consciousness. So what you receive. You become. What you look at, you become. What you appreciate, you become. What you receive, there's in the economy of God, there is a, uh, in the realm of the spirit, there is an empowerment that is released upon a man or woman who dared to believe a revelation they've received from God's word. And that empowerment brings about the manifestation or the becoming of what I've received. I pray that you will just God what I've just said. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for this moment. We've come again to you because we know in you we have our sustainers. Only you can help us. And we trust you. Dear precious Holy Spirit, speak through this mouth and let everyone that is under the sound of my voice be blessed. In the name of Jesus, I pray to receive a revelation of this word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So now how to unlock your greatness. So this is important because every revelation that you receive necessitate the grace that, 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 that you need to receive the manifestation of that, um, of, 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 of that revelation. There's an empowerment that comes. So now I want to talk about your greatness. I want to talk to you that you were born great. You were born a leader. You were born to excel. 
You were born to change your world. Now, this is a revelation. But it can never, you can never become or manifest in your life if you don't receive it and if you don't believe it. If you don't receive it or believe it, there is no empowerment to become. It is in your believing that brings about the empowerment to become what you believe. Because you are a product of your belief. That's why you have to watch who you dare to listen to. Because whoever you listen to, you become what you hear. You become what you see. You know, the more many of you are subscribing to this message and following my teachings, you are becoming every day what you are seeing and what you are receiving. I want you to say with me, I was born great. Come on, say it. I was born great. Then say it again, I was born a leader. Say it, I was born to excel. I was born to change my world. See, don't look at your current circumstances. And there are many people who look at themselves and they are afraid to say this. Now, this you have to say. Even as you are typing it on your, on the, on, on your screen, you have to say it out loud with your mouth. Say, I was born great. I was born a leader. I was born to excel. I was born to change my world. Now, it's a revelation. There are some that don't have this revelation. Now, I got this revelation, the word of God, and I'm releasing it to you. So now you have to receive it into your spirit. I want to receive it, the empowerment to become what you just said is released unto you by the grace of God. Oh man, I pray you get this. I pray you get this. I pray you get this. Psalm 82 verse 6. I have said, Jesus said, I mean, of course, this is also in the, um, Jesus quoted the scripture in the, in the gospel. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High. So you got to believe this. You have to believe that ye are gods. More G. King James. I have said ye are gods. And all of you are the children of the Most High. And then, if you keep reading further, it talks about because you don't know that ye are gods, you die like ordinary men. Because you don't know your divinity, you suffer with all the rest of humanity. And God will tell you this morning that ye are gods. You are a child of the Most High. The Most High is your Father. The Most High is your God. And you know, God give birth to gods. Goods give birth to goods. Humans Give birth to human. You have transcended the humanity that others are still in. You have divinity in your humanity. Ye are God. So, to change your world, you need to understand this revelation. See, you need to change your world, your world, your aeons. Not necessarily the cosmos, but at least your aeons. Your word, your system needs to change. You need, we need to change our community. Now that talks about the way the thing in your community, because the way they think would affect everything they do. See, to change your word and to change your community begins from the inside. I love to say this at this juncture that. I cannot change my, I cannot affect my generation, and you cannot either, if I do not affect your, the way you think. That's right. If I can change the way you think and view life, then I have succeeded with you. Then we all together can change our world. I mean that I have to do all the best I can within my ability to change the way you think and the way you view life so that we together can change our world for good. The way the world is going 
is because of the way they think. And if you can change the way your family thinks, the way you think, the way your the way your community thinks, if you can change that, you change the world. See, God wants you know you uh, to be successful in this life, and also in the life to come. I mean, you have to win souls to God. We have to, we have to bring people to the kingdom of God. We have to do whatever it takes to build God's kingdom. Now, because true greatness, we're talking about how to unlock your greatness. True greatness is found in the Lord. True greatness is found in God. There's no other greatness found anywhere else but in the Lord. Now, Luke chapter 9, verse 46 will tell us who is the greatest. There was a dispute that arose among disciples. And Bible tells us verse 46, them as, as which of them will be the greatest. Then a dispute arose among them as to which of them would be the greatest. 47. And Jesus, perceiving the thoughts in their heart, took a little child and set him by him. 48. And said to them, Whosoever received this little child in my name, receives me and whosoever receives me <clears throat> receives him who sent me and who and for he who is least among you all will be great we just talked about john chapter 1 verse 16 about receiving him when you receive him you receive who you receive who sent him and you become but it's talking about greatness. Who is great? Greatness lies within Christ. And let me read other scriptures before we begin to go deeply into this. Matthew chapter 20, verse 17 to verse 27 in New King James. Now Jesus going to Jerusalem, took the twelve disciples aside unto the road and said to them, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be betrayed unto the chief priests and to the scribes, and they will condemn him to death. Verse 19, And deliver him to the Gentiles, to mock, and to scourge, and to crucify. And the third day he will rise again. That this Jesus prophetically speaking to the disciples what is going to happen. 20, Then the mother of Zebedee's son came to him with her son, kneeling down and asking something from Jesus. And verse 21, And he said to her, What do you wish? And she said to him, Grant that these two sons of mine may sit one on your right hand and the other on your left hand in your kingdom. 22. And Jesus answered and said, You do not know what you ask. Are you able to drink the cup that I'm about to drink and be baptized, baptism I'm about to be baptized with? Then he said to him, We are able, they said. So, they, 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 so then he said to them, You will indeed drink my cup and be baptized with the baptism I'm about to baptize with, but to sit on my right hand and on my left hand is not mine to give, but it is for those for whom it is prepared by my Father. There's so much in that scripture. I don't have time to, to, die, to, 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 uh, to really break that down. And when the ten heard it, they were greatly displeased with the two brothers. But Jesus called them to himself and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles, Lord, is over them. And those who are great exercise authority over them. Yet it shall not be so among you. But whosoever desires to become great among you, let him be your servant. And whosoever desire to be first among you, let him be your slave. Oh my. So, it's, uh, it, this is a powerful scripture. But let me go on by saying that we all, based on the scripture, we all have the potential, the potentiality for greatness. Now, to develop and express that potential, or to, 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 to develop and express your greatness, you must possess the passion and drive to live our lives, to live your life with calculated risk and an attitude of faith. I mean, I'll say that again. 
you have the potential for greatness. There's greatness on the inside of you. You were created to be great. You were created to excel. You were created to be a victor. Now, but to develop and to express that greatness that lies on the inside of you, you must possess the fortitude, the passion, and the drive to live your life with calculated risk, of course, which is faith, and attitude of faith. Because when you strive for greatness, when you strive to give all you have got to achieve your dream, success is the secondary benefit. That means that pursuing success is not really to be the goal. Greatness, listen to this, greatness lies in the church. Just, just look up, look at me. I know some of you are looking, that's good. Look, look, don't be distracted. Greatness lies in the journey, not the result. If success is your only drive, if trying to buy a new car is your only drive, if it's trying to buy a house is your only drive, you may achieve all of that. You may achieve financial wealth, but you may never, you may not achieve greatness. Now, greatness is much deeper than money. Greatness is an expression of your character. We are all born with the potential for greatness, yet most achieve far below their potential. Why a small handful rise to extraordinary heights and become legends? Why is that? So to rank among the elites, you must consciously change your habits. Because greatness one does not show up with time or because you think about it. Greatness does not show up in time or because you think about it. Greatness is a virtue you must consciously invest in every minute of every day. So you have to intentionally, you have to be intentional about greatness and go after it with an unwavering belief in your ability to achieve success and excellence. God wants you to unlock the greatness that is within you. So I'm going to give you some truth and some, some keys to help you unlock greatness that is on the inside of you. I know some of you, some of you are ready for that. What are the keys to unlock greatness in you? There is greatness. It's on the inside of you. It's already embedded in you. How do you bring this out? How do you unlock it? How do you manifest what you see? Number one, number one, number one, number one. You must have a sense of purpose and vision. That's right. There's a place for purpose and for vision if you are going to develop and release that greatness and to unlock that greatness that is on the inside of you. If you look at the book of Proverbs 20, 29 verse 18, say where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy he is. So vision is important if you are going to develop and express the greatness that lies within you. See, the mindset necessary, listen, for achieving greatness lies in the understanding that success is not your ultimate goal. Now, say it again, because when you get this revelation, it's going to help you. That the mindset necessary to achieve greatness lies in an understanding that success is not your ultimate goal. This goal is too small and, and just unilateral. To strive for greatness, you must be all well-rounded. You must be interested in building a cause that touches other lives. You cannot be great if other lives are not touched. You cannot achieve greatness if you are not making impact in the life of others. You must be interested in building a cause that touches others. You must be willing to step out of the box. You must strive to be a pioneer, a trendsetter, a game changer, and a radical thinker who deeply, who is, who is deeply driven to make this world a better place. Now that's what I'm talking about. You have to be willing to get out of the box mentality. You have to be willing and strive 
to be strive means to work towards, take the aggressive action to be a pioneer, to be a trendsetter, and, and to be a game changer, and to be and to think radically, and and and, and 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 you are deeply driven to make this world a better place, not just to make you alone, not just your home and your children. So these two habits are necessary: purpose and vision. Purpose and vision are necessary to accomplish your goal and ideals. The two habits necessary to accomplish your goals and ideals are, uh, let me put it this way, they are, your, they are unwavering dedication. So the two habits that are necessary to accomplish your goals and ideals are one, unwavering dedication to your cause. And desire to make a significant difference. So to achieve greatness, you have to know the deeper reason for what you are doing. It is, it is this deeper emotional reason where you discover a well of passion. You discover a well of dedication. You discover a well of perseverance and the willingness to keep going. Even when the going gets tough for your victory. Because when the going gets tough, the tough keeps going. There's a slogan that the uh, that uh, uh, the uh, the uh, those who are tough never quit, you know, and and you know never give up, you know. So you have to have that mentality with unwavering dedication to your cause and a desire to make a significant difference. I've just given you just one key to unlock your, your, your greatness, your passion and your vision. Number two, you have to have strong set of core values. That means to unlock your greatness, uh, to unlock your greatness, you have to be clear on your values. Because your values are the unconscious motivators which shapes your future. Your value, your core value, they are your, the, the unconscious motivators that shapes your future. It is your value which drives your actions and your behavior. Your value drives your actions and your behavior. That's why you have to be clear on the mission and the value of the value your life stands for and what goals are in line to make your to make you unique in life. Man, I am out of time again. Oh my! Well, I really want to talk about these core values, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm out of time. But let me say this, that anyone who has reached greatness is always fanatical about the value upon which their life stand. Anyone who have reached greatness is fanatical about the values upon which their life stand. You must have sets of values, strong sets of values that, that, that unlocks the great that's within on the inside of you. You must be clear on your mission. You must be clear on the mission and the value your life stands for. You must know what you stand for in line with the word of God. And you have to maintain your stance in the word of God. Your strong values. Number one key is passion and vision. Number two is a strong set of core values. Honestly, I'm out of time, but I'm going to continue with this tomorrow. So I want you to log on again tomorrow for another edition of How to Unlock Your Greatness, How to Release the Winner on the re Release the Winner on the Inside of You, the Victor in You, the Giant in You. And I just pray you will log on again tomorrow. Now, until we see you, remember you've been destined to win, and there is nothing the devil can do about it. Keep on walking by faith. And not by sight, your victory is already guaranteed. It's a sure deal. Keep looking up. Keep looking up. You've got the victory. Until we see again, remember that when you look up, if life ever knocks you down, make sure you keep on looking up. Because if you can look up, you can get up. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.